Jeffrey Finguy takes out the pole for the second round of the Inoral Nuka-Cola Light Series out here at Atlanta. Dishwasher won the last race, so we're going to see what happens today. Finguy out of Michigan leads us to the pole, leads us to the uh, race to the start here at uh, Atlanta. And here we go. And Matt Duncan got a pretty good start, but he does not have a preferred line. So Finn Guy will be able to take the lead. Or, or at least he would have, but his teammate Catherine Young is thoughts about the lead herself, and she'll go down low free wide for the lead. This track is kind of dangerous. This track's pretty dangerous as they can go over 200 miles an hour at this track. So, yeah. So, yeah. And here you see it. They're, they're hitting 200 plus right now. And, oh, wow. Thank you, move here. Oh, no. Oh, boy. 66 car can't even hit 200. Yeah, I got a big group of cars. It's probably only a matter of time before they wreck. I just hope it's not a wreck fest like last season's race. And the last season's Elite Series race here was a wreck fest, but it ended in eventual champion Cosmic Nova is getting his first career win. Catherine Young holds the lead over Stacy Dutta, who made one start last season. Uh, oh, oh, whoa! Oh, we got ourselves a, a wreck here. And I got a few cars involved, and uh, Alyssa Kirby's gone for a roll. I saw her crash relatively hard. Verse be involved, Runda's, and Johnny B, it looks like. And a few more. Uh, Cavanero, well, Yakov, Anderson, possibly the lead. And it looks like they managed not to wreck under caution, so that's good. Yeah, this is Alyssa Kirby's fault. She forced it four wide on Johnny B, Nico Plyakov, and Alan Caminero. Uh, you don't want to do that, obviously, and she gets into the 41. And there they go. Lots of cars go around, and that... Oh! That is a pretty hard crash for Alyssa Kirby. And there you see Versky hit her as she went for a couple of rolls. Oh, man, that was a hard... That was a hard hit for a 48. See here, oh, 180, but that, but luckily that was the passenger side, and uh, yeah, I, I think she, yeah, we uh, got the word that she's gotten out of her car under her own power. Good to hear, good to hear for her. pretty hard crash. Alyssa Kirby, uh, the uh, the first diabetic to race in the INORL. Uh, she's a type one diabetic, and glad to know she's okay. Stacy Dutta is the leader. Is your running order across the screen? Edward Miller had problems under under that caution, and he's out. So, yeah. All three Hector cars managed to run into some kind of problem in a very short in one caution period. Well, this is gonna be a long season for those guys. I can already tell. All right, Alex May goes down low. That's one of the that's one of the masterpiece cars. There's Brandon one to 99. He's looking to make a comeback. He's looking to make a comeback in his career. I mean, yeah, Ver Wood was Ver was kind of unimpressive in Arkansas. He really needs to get something going. I mean, if he has a bad season here, then his career is pretty much screwed. So, going down low with a little help from Baron Braxis, but May has broken away from the from the from this little group here. Now Mark Holbert's going down low for down on three wide and and a three wide as well. And lastly, corner dishwasher who's up here. I'm seeing two Cybertrons. Where's the third? There's the third. Christian Bergman. He's not looking too good. Wow, even the, Wow, Curtis Runda, that is some serious damage because I think he's even slower than the 66. He 
end. It's a real marvel of just brokenness. It's a real marvel that he's that slow. Dave Barker let that laugh here comes the Japanese driver. Makoto Yoshizawa. Now is Paul Swanson in the only remaining Red Bull. He's gonna try and go down the low, but not before Sam Young gets pushed by Ohio native Nathan McCain in the 40. Why a little odd that an Ohio native is driving for KSI, but but hey, McCain is a talented driver. <laughs> Running rip on the 24. He's gonna have a shot to lead here. Wait, there's smoke. Someone's blown up. Ah, oh, that's Vinky Louvier. Woohoo! We're safe! We're safe from the 66 Menace! If the caution comes out, I swear to God. All right, no caution. Look at Sam, Sam Young and Nathan McCain. Those two have just broken away. No competition for those two. Probably until that, probably until McCain makes a move, which looks like it'll be, oh, we got ourselves another incident. And Kayla Schmidt has gone for a roll. Second of the night. Oh, last week's winner, Dishwasher was, in, was involved in that. And Schmidt going all over the place. I think it could have been a rather hard crash, actually. There's Finn guy, he's made it through. Yeah, lots. Wow, um, lots of cars involved in that one. Well, here's a look at what happens here. Four wide. Oh. Oh, don't play Baron Crash back to his crash happy ways. Oh, he is fourth but four wide of his teammate Valentine, Christopher Bryant, Alex May, uh, and, and then he's gonna go, get down to the 88, turn them up. There's there's a Smith, he, he goes up, and Alex May almost went for a roll. Oh, make that third roll tonight as Praxis went for one as well, and 46 went for several rolls. Wild ride for the 36. I mean, I can't believe really I kept saying 36. It's a 96. I'm sorry. Not really the most focused today. Just trying to shove this one out. Wild ride for Kayla Schmidt. Raced at Indy last season with uh, with and scored points. So he's got some talent, but clearly today was not his day. Luckily, he uh, he has gotten out of his car under his own power after that wild ride. Go, why don't we go on board with the 96? Uh, with the cockpit cam, because, uh, yeah, the, the roof cam didn't stay intact. That would make anyone sick. That's for sure. I'm not really sure why Jason Evans is out of the race. I did not see him get involved in that. We've got 30 cars left. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here as we're back to green. Hey, look who's worked his way up. That's James Dalton in a double zero. Raced in a, he raced in the uh, Slim Jim series with little to no success. Although he did, although he did show signs, although he did show some speed, he, he just had no little, he had no luck. He had no luck, but he did show some speed. And now he's driving for Shelly Motorsports in the Light Series. It's gonna be interesting to see what he's going to do in that double zero car. And Brandon Wood, he's, he's trying to prove himself. They can race in this series. 
Brandon Wood trying to prove to prove people that he can race a stock car. And it's a caution now. Flies out of light. And it is. Not a very Solar Fox was really slow for whatever reason. I didn't really see him be involved in that wreck, but maybe he did. Oh, sudden four wide there. Hallbert gets in the 07. Oh, there goes the 07 and the 43. He got a piece of that, and that's Jay Barker's race over. Yoshi's all continues on. Jay Barker out of the race. Re reliability issues striking a lot of cars here as uh, Stacy Dutta having some had a like suddenly had to, she developed a tire up for, for whatever reason. I think something messed up the suspension and she's gonna go out of the race. Team Thunder running one, two, and a Team Thunder development driver, that being James Dalton, is in third. For a good run, there is some damage on the right side, and I have no idea where he got that from. But that is going to kill his car. Yeah, he is off the pace. He is falling off the pace. So that is his good run over. Oh, uh, looks like Roderick, Roderick Anderson just took the final point spot away from RJ Manson, and there's nothing Manson can do about that. That car not running nearly as as well as the 14. And Matt Duncan breaking away while everyone's battling for second. If this keeps up, I think he'll be running away with his first Nuka-Cola Light Series victory. But Halbert starting to close in, and then Bergman goes underneath him. I don't think he's going to hold on that long. Here comes Nathan Dwyer. He's looking in the 19. With help from Jackie Tang. There we go. The gap's closed. It's only a matter of time before they closed in. McCain, Nathan McCain trying to get a win here, and there's last week one of dishwashers going for two in a row. Oh wait, wait, there's been a wreck! Oh, Bergman's rolled it, and here goes McCain, nope, here Prager pushes him up, that's gonna end the race, Matt Duncan hold, trying, to hold, trying to hold on, he's going to, he's going to do so, on the foul corner, he's gonna take the caution and win here at Atlanta. We'll be getting back to... Now I'll take a look at what happened and see if Duncan will indeed take home the victory. I can't really blame Brandon Wood for this one. He was trying... Race... I mean, the race in his closing stages, he was in a rush to get to the front, and he ended up forcing it four wide there. A little too ambitious. Got Gets in the five, and he wrecked a couple drivers. And Bergman makes that makes the four flip tonight. But Brandon Wood uh, was not very impressive at Arkansas. He was having a good run here, but he got a little too ambitious at the end, so no end. And this and uh, yeah, this pretty much this pretty much describes his whole career. And no points for Brandon Wood. No surprise there. He, he never seems to score any points. But Matt Duncan will indeed be able to finish this race as off the final corner. Matt Duncan, younger brother of William Duncan. He's already an Arkansas Lights champion, and he's having success over here in the INRL as in his second you know, light start, he's going to come around and win out here in Atlanta. 
Nice job for him. Second is Ray Krager. Third, Nathan McCain. Fourth, Dishwasher. Fifth, Jackie Tang. Sixth, Mary Cole. Seventh, Nathan Dwyer. Eighth, Trevor Germain. Ninth, Paul Swanson. And Jonathan Dwyer rounds in the top ten. Well, that was an interesting race. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, pretty, pretty, uh, like, that was an exciting, that was a pretty exciting race. Uh, be sure, that'll be all for, that will be all for today. Be sure to stick around tomorrow when we run the, when we race the Insomniac, when the Insomniac Elite Series comes to the race here in Arkansas. So, that'll be it for today. I'm signing off. See you next time.